Chewers! It's Ashley from Chew and Chew. Welcome back. This week I've been a little under the weather and I haven't been feeling quite like myself. So what makes me feel better? Wine. Wine doesn't make everybody feel better. In fact, some people even get headaches from wine. So this week we're tackling a few culprits and cures to common wine headaches. So what does a wine headache feel like? We've all been there before. We'll wake up the next morning and our head is like literally splitting or sometimes it even happens that same night so first things first sometimes we just drink a lot of wine i know that i do and that's just a common hangover the one thing that can help prevent that is definitely drinking a lot of water before you start drinking for the night you want to stay as hydrated as possible which seems pretty weird because we are drinking all night but we're not drinking water all night so one thing to remember is before you start drinking wine at least try to drink a one glass of water for each glass of wine that you're drinking and that should knock down some of those wine headaches that you get so what could be a culprit of your wine headaches after you realize even after drinking one glass of red wine, you have a headache? If you guys remember one of the wine terms that we had a few weeks ago, tannin. So what is tannin? So tannin is derived from grape skins and seeds. And while red wines get their color from these grape skins, it's no wonder that red wines are high in tannins. Some people are very sensitive to tannins and even one glass of red wine can cause these tannin headaches to happen. So black tea is also naturally high in tannin. So if you get a headache from drinking over brewed black tea, then you probably are sensitive to tannin. One recommendation that I can give you if you have tannin sensitivity, stick to your lighter wines or your white wines. If you're one of those people that determine, okay, red wines isn't that big of a deal for me, but I definitely get headaches after I drink white wines, that's a little different. Sugar may actually be causing your wine headache. So white wines, especially dessert wines, are really high in sugar. And if you're not hydrated before you start drinking these wines, your body will start pulling water from all over your body, including your head, i.e. why you may get a headache. Shy away from those sweet white wines and try a drier white wine. And again, definitely drink lots of water before drinking. That being said, you may have heard the correlation that the cheaper the wine, the more intense the wine headache, which is not necessarily true. That statement is based off some cheaper wines have extra added in them, like sugar, that could be linked to wine headaches. And while sugar is linked to wine headaches, Expensive wines have added sugar too, so that's not exactly true. One other thing that can cause some of your wine headache is histamines. There are histamines in wine, and, and some people genetically are just naturally sensitive to the histamines in wine. If you believe this may be the culprit of your wine headache, one thing that you can do is taking a low dose antihistamine before drinking. This has helped some people that have histamine sensitivities drink wine without headaches. Again, definitely consult your healthcare provider before mixing alcohol with any type of medication. This is not an exhaustive list of why you could have a wine headache, but I hope that these tips and tricks have helped you pinpoint the culprit of your latest wine headache so you can get back to having fun and drink some more wine. I'm gonna get back to my Chianti. Thanks for tuning in, and I can't wait to see you guys next week for our hashtag Wine Down Wednesday. What other topics would you like for me to address here? Definitely leave them in the comments or send me a DM. I love answering all of your questions. Have a great week. Bye, guys.